Hello everyone, I am Neha Singh, final year student of Civil Engineering Department in Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow. I am going to presentation uh, about zero energy building. Now these are the points which we will introduce in this presentation. Introduction. Buildings have significant impact on energy use and the environment. Commercial and residential buildings use almost 40% of the primary energy and approximately 70% of electricity in India. Zero energy building is not a single product or technology, but rather combination of closely integrated evolving technology. Now, next one is what is zero energy building? A zero energy building is a building with zero net energy consumption. It generates more energy than it consumes. It is also known as zero net energy buildings, net energy buildings, and net zero building. Building contributes less overall greenhouse gases to the atmosphere than a similar non-zero energy building. Reduce carbon emissions and dependence on fossil fuels, which is the zero net energy consumption principle. And this one is the graph which show the zero energy building concept very easily, in which we uh, see that the uh, renewable energy is so sufficient to meet building energy demand. Why zero energy building? To overcome energy crisis, to reduce energy consumption, to reduce uh, greenhouse and global warming, and reduce dependence on fossil fuels, protect environment for future generations. How to adapt zero energy? First one is site selection and orientation. Second one is reduce heating, cooling, and lightning loads through climate responsive and conservation practices. Employ renewable or high energy sources. First one, site selection and orientation. Orientation layout and location on site will all influence the amount of sun a building receives and therefore is round year round temperature and comfort. Be flat or not sloping, be free of obstructions to the north, be able to accommodate a building with a relatively large north facing wall for maximum solar gain. Now we will discuss about the design using zero energy building. First one is passive solar and design. In this uh, design, building design window windows, walls, and floors are made to collect, store, and distribute solar energy in the form of heat in the winter and reject solar heat in summer. This is passive solar design because unlike active solar heating system, it doesn't involve the use of mechanical and electrical devices. Use of thermal mass and phase change materials for storing indoor air temperature swings, solar cookers, the chimney for enhancing natural ventilation, and earth sheltering. This one is the diagram we show the passive solar design in which we so, uh, see that we use south facing windows in which uh, light come, sunlight come to the uh, buildings and easily get lightning in summer and as well as winter season. Second one is building envelope design. In this design, use high performance building envelopes, select wall roofs and other assemblies based on long-term insulation, air barrier performance and durability requirements. Damp proofing, waterproofing membrane, insulation material, water stops, drainage pipes, these are used in this design. And this is the diagram which shows that uh, these are the uh, apparatuses used in this design, like wind turbines, solar collectors, energy optimized window, photovoltaic panels, floor heating system, efficient insulation, geothermal heat pumps, rainwater collection, heat recovery ventilation, optimized building orientation. These are used in building envelope design. Now, employing renewable energy sources. Renewable energy is the energy which is generated from natural sources, that is sun, wind, rain, tide, and can be generated again and again when required. Use of renewable energy can increase energy security and reduce dependence on important fuel while reducing or eliminating greenhouse gas emission and associated with energy use. These are the top seven renewable energy sources which are used in 2020. First one is solar energy, where the main source of energy is sun. Second one is wind energy. Third one is hydrogen energy, fourth ocean fifth hydropower, sixth geothermal power, and last one is bioenergy. Now sun as a renewable source of energy. 
Zero energy homes should be designed to use the sun energy as much as possible for such things as generating electricity, heating hot water, and utilizing passive space heating. Solar panels are placed on the rooftop or windows of the buildings or anywhere when maximum solar energy is received throughout the year. The energy generated can be used for cooking, heating, generating electricity. Wind as a renewable source of energy. In some extreme area where wind energy is evident and high small windmills can also be used to generate electricity for running small equipment. This uh, diagram can easily define you that how the wind energy is used uh, as a source of energy. Net zero energy building connected to grid. Buildings connected to power grid can be termed as net zero if their energy consumption is equal to the their energy production over a year. This is photovoltaic field we will uh, uh, design and uh, now it connected with electric gills and uh, supply the uh, electricity to our buildings. Now the advantages of zero energy building. First one is isolation for building owners from future energy price increases. Second, increased comfort due to more uniform interior temperature. Reduce requirement for energy, reduce total cost of ownership due to improved energy efficiency, reduce total net monthly cost of living, minimize extra cost. And the disadvantages are initial cost can be higher, lack of skill or experience to be uh, building. The job may not reduce the required plant capacity. Solar energy capture using the house envelope only works in the locations unobstructed from the sun. Without an, an optimized thermal envelope, the embodied, embodied energy, heating and cooling energy and resource uses is higher than needed. Now, these are the uh, three buildings which are constructed on the zero build energy building concept. The first one is the Indra Paryavaran Bhavan, New Delhi. Second is Sun Carrier Omega Bhopal. Third one is Akshay Urja Bhavan. Now, first one, the Indra Paryavaran Bhavan, New Delhi. Constructed with adoption of solar passive energy and uh, energy efficient material. Installed capacity of 930 kilowatt peak power, the building has the largest rooftop solar system among multi storied buildings in India. More than 50% area outside the building is a soft area with plantation and grass. The building has a robotic party, uh, parking system in the basement that can accommodate 330 cars. Second is Sun Carrier Omega Bhopal. Sun Carrier Omega is the first company to bring to India the sun tracking intelligent solar PV system, which generates about 40% more energy than fixed system. Sun Carrier Omega has commissioned India's first commercial net zero energy building. Last one is Akshay Urja Bhavan Panchkula. The Department of Renewable Energy, Harida, has constructed is the office building Akshay Urja Bhavan on institutional plot measuring on one acre at sector 17 Panchkula. This building is being constructed based on solar passive design techniques, having building integrated photovoltaic system of 42.50 kilowatt capacity. Solar chimney, evaporating, cooling, cavity walls, use of fly as waste brick, water, recycling, and energy efficient light, etc., used in this building. Now, what is the motto of zero energy building? In this diagram, easily define you that what we uh, want, uh, why we, uh, you use zero energy building. And uh, in, in this uh, uh, diagram, we uh, saw that we use uh, uh, the process of recycling of materials, using of renewable sources and uh, less harassment of non-renewable uh, sources uh, presenting our earth. Thank you. सेव कैसे करूं स्टॉप करो अपने स्टॉप करके मीटिंग एंड करोगे तो अपने